Welcome to my channel. My name is Cadence and here we talk about everything nightlife and club DJing. If that interests you, I would invite you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you know I'm coming out with new videos. We have a lot of content coming out and you're not going to want to miss a thing. In this digital age, most new DJs start off with buying a controller. I mean, it makes perfect sense. You don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a brand new professional setup and then find yourself posting it on eBay a couple months down the road because it's not something you want to stick with. But for those that do stick with it, they progress with their skills and they get very comfortable on that controller. And you'll want to progress even further and eventually play in the nightclubs in your area. But the club standard and what you'll find in the nightclubs is CDJ 2000s and a DJM mixer by Pioneer. Most of the time, there's no room in that DJ booth to set up your controller. There may not be enough time for you to set up your laptop. You may be playing with one or more other DJs and it's gotta be a quick switch. There could be a dozen other scenarios why you can't bring your controller or your laptop, what every nightclub DJ should be prepared with, no matter what DJ software they use, is USB sticks with tracks prepared in Rekordbox DJ. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. If you're curious about what I'm using, this is a 32 gigabyte USB 3.0 from SanDisk. I'll leave a link in the description to this specific one. They do make ones with a lot more storage, but this one has worked for me just fine without any issues. If you're using a 2016 or newer MacBook Pro, you'll know that they only take USB-C drives. So what I did was I picked these up as well on Amazon. They are USB 2 3.0 to USB type C adapters. I bought four of these. They are from Aki and I will also leave these in the description. They just connect like this and then they go right into your MacBook Pro and they read and write just fine. Just like this. You don't need a giant dongle for them. These have served me very well. Link in the description. Now that you have your USB stick in your laptop, it's time to make sure it's in the right format. You're gonna reformat that USB disk by going into your disk utility. You're gonna go to your spotlight search, type in disk utility, and find your USB stick within the list of hard drives. From here, you're going to go to erase, and then you can name your USB stick, whatever you want, minus Cadence 2, because I have two of the same USB sticks. This happens to be the second one, but you can name it whatever you want. And then you're gonna make sure that the format is in FAT32 from these drop-down options. Only reason why mine is grayed out is because this USB stick is already in that format. So select which option you want, and then this erase button will be available to you hit erase. Keep in mind though that this is going to completely get rid of and erase everything and anything on that USB drive and format it to the one that you select. From there, you're good to go. Now that your USB drive is in the right format, you're going to come down here. Make sure that it is readable in record box here. And then you're going to go to sync manager, which is all the way down at the bottom of your playlist and click that. That is going to open up this window. Yours is going to look a little different than mine only because my USB stick already has playlists in it, which is here. Your device, you're going to select the device that you want your music on and make sure synchronized playlist with the device is checked. On the record box side, you're going to click the playlist that you want on the USB drive and then click this arrow here. Once you do that, it may take a while. Sometimes, especially if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to not only bring over your folders and everything, but it's also bringing over all your cue points, your beat grid information, all your memory cues, your memory loops, all that information is going from your computer over to that USB drive. So you don't want to do this last minute before a gig. Give yourself at least a couple of hours. I'm not joking, a couple of hours to make sure that you are good to go.
You don't want to be stuck being late because your USB stick is too slow. Now USB 3.0 does take less time than 2.0 to transfer over all the information, but give yourself plenty of breathing room. You don't want to be late because you decided to do this last minute. Give yourself at least a couple of hours, no matter what brand, what kind of USB you're using. It may take quite some time. You're going to have a little, at the bottom, you'll have a little percentage, um, a progress bar. Uh, you can keep an eye on that, but best is to just let it do its thing and come back later. Now that your USB is prepared in Box DJ, it's ready to be played on a CDJ. Insert your USB here in the top left, hit USB. My settings data was found. Press the menu button to load. This is gonna load up any settings that you set in Box DJ. Hit the selector lob to load. And you'll notice you have your artists, your albums, your track. If you sort by key, playlists, the history playlist is what we loaded up. You'll have the playlist that you selected in Record Box DJ now on your USB stick. You can go to your folders, and here are your playlists. If you want to select a playlist or select a track, use this track selector knob. If you want to go back, the back button is right above that. If you want to select a different playlist and if you want to select a track and your track information will show up on the screen. You'll have your cue points. Those will be working. You have your B grid information here. You'll be able to take advantage of that and you'll be able to scroll in and have your waveform available to you which you would not have if you did not prepare your tracks in Record Box DJ first. So you did it. You played on CDJs for the first time using USBs and it went great. Maybe during your set you were adding cue points, deleting cue points, memory cues, what have you, and now you want to transfer that information onto the USB stick where it is saved and then go and transfer that over to Record Box. I'll show you how to do that. Open up Sync Manager again with your USB inserted into the computer. Again, make sure you have the correct hard drive here set. So the USB, make sure this is checked. And instead of using this arrow, you wanna use this one down here. Update cues, beat grid, and information. What this is going to do is take that information that you set in the CDJ, say you added cue points or you deleted a couple and you select this, that is going to transfer that information back into your Rekordbox DJ software and update that for you. These arrows will just mirror. So anything you want updated on the USB, you use this one. Anything you want updated on Rekordbox, you use this one. That's it. DJs, there was a lot of information packed in this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you. Hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.